if you're like me and you enjoyed Stranger Things and there's you want something else to watch that kind of fits that bill, I have gotten a list together of a bunch of different other strange things that you might also enjoy. So let's take a look at those real fast, rapid fire. Obviously, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. If you haven't seen this since you were a kid, please watch it. It's really good. This is Spielberg in his prime, and it's obviously a huge, clear inspiration for Stranger Things, the series. Also, Mostly, e easily the best movie about Reese's Pieces. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind is kind of a slept-on Spielberg movie. Yeah. Uh, really creepy. It's kind of E.T. for adults. Uh, it also came out the same year as Star Wars, so no one saw it. Uh, then there's Goonies, which Spielberg produced. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. I love it. I love, I love the Goonies. I think it's good, so you should watch it. It's also about a bunch of kids getting in trouble on an awesome adventure. Yeah. Uh, it's very, it echoes a lot of the sentiments from Stranger Things. Yeah, more lighthearted, that kind of kid camaraderie. Uh, then there's Gremlins, which is definitely the supernatural angle. Um, this was from a wonderful era when uh, kids' movies were just real messed up. Yeah. Real, real messed up. Just this is this is like a legit... Gremlins 2 is kind of a fun, campy, live-action cartoon. Gremlins 1 is a legit, terrifying, yeah. gross, grotesque horror film. It's a but horror movie still, for kids. you should watch it. Uh, moving on, uh, Stand By Me. There's no spooky ghosts or magic in this one, but uh, it is very clearly something that... Stranger Things took some cues from. Uh, Stranger Things obviously drew a lot from Stephen King's work. This is one of those rare Stephen King stories that isn't about monsters. It's just about some kids standing by each other. And finding a corpse. Hey, man, spoilers, dude. <laughs> uh, Super 8, more recent. Yep. Um, if you haven't seen that, you would like it if you like Stranger Things. Uh, and then most recently, Midnight Special is a movie uh, I actually haven't seen this. You suggested I throw yeah, this so on here. Yeah, so this is uh, actually really cool because it, it sort of takes on what Stranger Things does but with a slightly more kind of visceral, more mature angle. Um, it's about a kid with alien powers and his caretakers try to rescue him and bring him back to safety. Cool. Uh, and it's it's very beautiful, so go check cool. that, that out. That just came out in like March. Yeah, I think you can here. watch that on demand right now. Cool. Uh, then there's a TV show, Fringe. Yep. Uh, they do a lot of jumping around. That's also J.J. Abrams, who did Super 8. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of like exploring the supernatural. Yeah. There's a lot of like weird kid angles because it, they, go, they do show flashbacks to when the main characters were younger. Um, great show. It really falls off after the third season, but I'll say the first two seasons are some of the best sci-fi TV ever made. Cool. Well, another best sci-fi TV yeah. is also X-Files, which has no children in it, uh, except for probably spooky ones at some point. That's another show that falls off at some point, but different people will tell you different points about that. Uh, I had nightmares about this show as a kid. Anyway, uh, Twin Peaks, starring a man who everyone says looks like me. That's uh, David Lynch's really weird Midwestern noir show. Uh, is it supernatural? Or is it just weird? Super, it's just weird. It's very Super weird. weird. Uh, but yeah, small town mystery stuff might be your kind of thing. Uh, Stephen King's It. This was a huge, huge influence on Stranger Things, as you might have guessed by the font here. Uh, it is, uh, they made the movie of it, which scarred a lot of my generation. Uh, the book is very different, and it's much more about kind of kids growing up together and having fun adventures, so mm -hmm. uh, Stranger Things, very similar to that. Uh, this one might seem like more of a surprise. Read the Akira manga. For F's sake, it is so good. It is such an awesome comic. It's one of my favorite just printed anythings ever. Uh, it's the movie's crazy and off the wall and very cyberpunk, but the the comic is much more about kids kind of getting in trouble. Uh, also, telekinesis, witches by Scott Snyder, uh, very much hits on that kind of like stuff that scares you as a kid. Uh, as you can see right there, Stephen King liked it. He says yeah. it's a fabulous triumph. Um, yeah, you can get a collected volume of this. Uh, Oxen Free is a game that came out this year about a bunch of kids Good call. creeping around doing mystery stuff and there's supernatural things going on. I think that's on like everything at this point. I think it's on like Linux even. So uh, you can check that out. Uh, this one isn't out yet, but it's supposed to come out later this year. It's called Crossing Souls. It is really cool. It's basically if Stranger Things was a Saturday morning cartoon slash Super Nintendo game. I love uh, that logo. I am dying to play this game. Yeah. Uh, I demoed it at E3 like last year or something. and. Uh, I can't wait to see more of it. So it looks like the Burger King Kids Club go to Alien Town. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm into um, it. Yeah, one of the kids is a, is a magical ghost. So there you go.